Hey ya, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Guys, super excited ako because today we're gonna be doing something kind of different. I've, you know me, I'm an artist and I really love anything that's beauty related, skincare related. And I figured, you know what, I wanted to go ahead and do a review for the Skin Tea Ease Drop Skin Tint. Because it's so viral. I guess that's all, that's all I can say about this uh, skin tint. It's so popular nowadays, a lot of beauty gurus are raving about it. Then I thought, hmm, try to review like. Not as a professional makeup guru, don't don't worry. <laughs> marami na pung marami na pung tao but like as a fellow Filipina and as someone who hosts events and is a streamer, so medyo kay papa na even in the middle of a pandemic, I'm still in front of a camera. At the end of the video as well, gumawa ako ng little experiment and apply ko natutunan ko sa accountancy and I did the math on how much I'm spending every time I use the skin tint. Mejo shocking siya. Mejo surprising. Hmm. Anyway, for you guys to also know ko ano yung skin type ko, I'm combination oily T zone skin. Sometimes I get pimple marks. Actually, perfect timing ayan because I do have a pimple mark over here. Ito fresh na pimple, but whatever. Anyway, with that said, put na tayo sa bathroom where I put on my makeup. Okay, so we're here in my bathroom right now, and the first thing that we're gonna do obviously is unbox my new Fenty Vibes. But I'm in the shade, I'm in the shade number 8. By the way, my website, and it's so useful, let alone if you want to find out what your shade is for a certain brand, it's called foundation.com. That's how I basically pick my foundation color or my skin tint color. And oh my goodness, I'm gonna number made out of plastic. But oh, ganda niya. I feel <sighs> this is my upgrade when it comes to my makeup game. The first thing that we're gonna do is sunblock. We're gonna do sunblock because there's no SPF yung Fenty. What's it called again? What do you call it? Ease Drop. There's no SPF. So we're gonna put SPF. Now, I know pandemic. So why don't I put SPF? I'm just going to put it on. But sometimes, like for example, pag, mapapalabas ako because I'm gonna get a package or mapapalabas ako because ililakad ko yung dogs ko. Um, ayaw ako ma-stress or parang, alam mo yun, alam ko na na may SPF ako. So I would feel a bit more confident going out under the sun. So the SPF that I'm using and that I've been loving recently is the Anessa one. Okay siya. I feel like it has the same consistency of a primer. Yung problem lang is kailangan mo talaga siya i-shake before you use it kasi nagsa-separate yung oil and I'm guessing the lotion inside. So, yeah. And let me go ahead and wash my hands first before I touch my face. So, dahil skin tint lang yung binali ko from Fenty, gusto ko lang gamitin yung kamay ko kasi for me, parang feel ko yun yung point ng skin tint eh. It's a lot easier to apply and it's like on the go makeup. Yon, it's your skin but better. Ganun naman talaga yung mga skin tint dapat. Your skin but better. But I know of some girls who, or some people and for that matter, who like skin tint with full coverage. And you know, I, I mean, that's what they want. For me, I've never really believed in that. Kasi that's the whole point of, I mean, I already explained it. But for me, the point of a skin tint is for you to just kind of have a better looking skin and not exactly to cover anything up. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. Also, perfect opportunity for me to test this out, yung coverage na niyan, because may pimple scar ako over here on my right. Um, yung pimple scars ko dito sa taas, medyo na wala na. And yeah, but I think this is perfect. Thank you. This is a perfect shade. Shocks, is it too light? Parang too light siya. <gasps> oh no! Okay, ba? Nag match pa siya. Parang feel ko, baka same shade, but I think different undertone lang. Malilan yung undertone na nakuha ko. Or, I don't know. I feel like I can work with it. So, there you guys have it. This is my skin. I like how I can still see my skin imperfections. It kind of treats me to. Set them about me, but I'm okay. good. I'm good with this. And now I'm gonna set everything using powder. I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's not bad. Okay, I think it's my shade. I think it's my shade because it kind of fits my 
neck and everywhere else. What do you guys think? So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish with my look and then go under the sun and give you guys an update. Okay, so I went up to the roof of my home and I underestimated how high the sun was up so I can't even look directly into my window to show you guys what my makeup looks like. But here, let's just have a few seconds of me in front of the mirror. So this is what my makeup looks like. Hopefully you can see what my skin looks like. All right, now let me go. <laughs> let me have a bit, a bit of shade. Okay, there, that's better. I, can, I feel like I can see, I can see, I can see properly now. So this, by far, it's, you know, they marketed it well. It's not, it's a skin tint. It's a skin tint, all right. But I don't think there's really any blurring effect. <sighs> Let's go ahead and check and look at ourselves in the mirror. So this is what I look like in the mirror. It's not blurry. <laughs> my, I, I don't think I have a blurring effect on my skin. It's definitely setting into my pores and stuff, even though I did put on powder. And uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't, hmm, I don't know if I like it. Maybe I look different in camera. Maybe I'll register it different on camera. But for me, I feel like for the price point, you you can just buy a cheaper skin tint because it gives you off the same effect. Maybe I like it. Maybe it's one of those things that gets better over time because I do believe in that. There are some makeup that gets better over time for some reason. Like you're just not used to seeing yourself <laughs> uh, right at, right off the makeup chair. But after a while, you kind of end up liking it. But yeah, I mean. It does a normal job of covering imperfections. I mean, I can still see my, I can see texture for sure. I can see my scar here on top. I can see my pimple scar here, definitely here. But even with like the strongest um, foundation, I could always see my scar here. How do I look in the camera though? Do I look good? Do I look decent? Do I look like I have color? Because sometimes that can make much more of a difference. Like you do look good on camera but in real life uh, not so much so I'm excited to see what I look like downstairs when I start filming content for my gaming channel but since I'm already up here I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a loading <laughs> there I'm gonna get myself some coffee because the coffee that we have in my building is just so good so I kind of, I feel like I look decent on camera. I think I look decent on my viewfinder. Let me look at myself in the mirror. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, for $29, $28, whatever. Just that more than, more than 1,000 pesos. <sighs> for a skin tint. And I like skin tint, but I don't, I mean, it doesn't even have SPF. I'm not sure if it's worth it. The coverage in itself. I wouldn't use this for events if I'm hosting events. If I'm gonna host an event, but. So, getting a nap in the camera is bad. By the way, this is my favorite mug because it's at my favorite place in the Philippines, Laguna. It's my dream place to buy my own house and lot and uh, build my farm. <laughs> I don't think I can drink it here, so I'm just gonna go down and, you know. I think I look decent. <laughs> Wait, but I'm not sure worth it. It's at $25. Wait, la. So I just went down. It's like okay to put on makeup. It's <laughs> okay to put on makeup. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys front camera. There, so this is what I look like under warm light. What do you guys think? There. You see? Ano yun? Sa madilim lang ako maganda. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half since I finished my face. 
looking at the camera i use a sony rx for my streaming i'm pretty generous with my lighting right now i use warm light because if i use cool i get a migraine and i like it i mean i feel like i'm registering pretty good on the camera and it's it doesn't you know, so you know how sometimes there's like oily and then there's just glowing i feel like i'm more on the glowy side right now and it doesn't look that icky so i hmm i may not be able to use the eavesdrop for events when i finally go back to going to events or maybe even doing them for that matter or i mean hosting them but for sure i can definitely use my fenty eavesdrop for my streaming and stuff because i do feel like i look really fresh and look very normal so okay okay kind of torn right now um so i'm gonna go on ahead and record some content and get back to you in a couple of hours to give you my final verdict so gusto ko lang mag share because plus points to plus points tong isha share ko so naglagay ako ng contact solution kasi tarang ang dry ng contacts ko and then i was thinking shocks may streak marks nakaskin tint pa naman ako but surprisingly no no streak marks. Wow. It's fine. May plus one si Fenty dyan. May plus one siya. Okay guys, it's been five hours since I've been using it. And I don't know what my verdict is for it. Oh well, you know what? I do know what my verdict is for this. I will not be buying it again. But it is good enough and I will be able to use it. It's not so bad that I feel like I'm just gonna throw it away. Because one, it's very expensive. And two, it's very expensive. So I wanted to try, I mentioned earlier in the video that I was gonna do and create an experiment of how much I'm spending every time I use the eavesdrops. And well, if the price is $29.50, plus they have sales tax here, let's assume we get free shipping. So that's times 1.1, because it's 10%. You get, you pay like $32.45. So $32.45, it's 32 ml, assuming each ml, we use half an ml every time. So we divide that by 64. So we spent 50.70 cents. And uh, 50 cents, 50 cents or 51 cents. Now let's just assume that the exchange rate right now is 50 pesos. So times 50, you spend 25 pesos and 35 centavos. It's pretty expensive. It's kind of expensive knowing that I won't be wearing it for events. I'll only be using it for streaming. And quite frankly, sometimes I just don't wear makeup when I stream anymore because I prefer to have my natural skin. I'd say this is a no for me. <laughs> like, just save your money. But if you're gonna be hosting online events or if you're gonna be streaming and you wanna look decent, I guess it's good enough. But that's the thing. It was only good for streaming. You might as well opt for like the cheaper alternatives. But yeah, I'm sorry, Mara Vivi. I'm sorry. I love you, Rihanna. But this is just a no for me. Yeah, I don't like the skin tint. I'd probably I'd just rather splurge on the foundation if that's the case. So yeah, that's just my honest opinion about it. What about you guys? What do you guys think? Anyway, I had fun making this video. If you guys had fun watching it, do you give me a thumbs up. What do you guys think? Or if you guys think that the skin tint is too expensive, then give me a thumbs up as well. <laughs> anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know any other makeup that you guys might think I'll find worthy of, you know, going to events and maybe I'll just try them out. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.